YouTube, what the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage back with the Carthage campaign. I am uh, in the midst of sieging here. I believe I've selected equipment. Or no, I haven't. Um, so we could go ahead and siege this city. I don't have any siege equipment per se, but I mean I have ladders and I don't think these guys will be able to stop me. So let's, uh, let's give them a run for their money. This is the first real resistance that I've seen out of the Arverni. And it's not a real great one, but they have some reinforcing troops out to sea. Most of their troops are just completely thrashed, and I'm imagining they're going to rout pretty much on contact. Look like they've been starving to death to me, like dying of attrition, which hopefully the AI is going to get better at. And again, I started this campaign way back in, like, patch 2. So how much of the stuff that is patched forward is kind of remains to be seen. I'd really like to start some new campaigns in the new patch, which I will be doing soon, but I'm not just going to, like, abandon these. I want to finish them. So, oops, I didn't mean to wait because that was good weather. Alright, let's start the deployment. And, uh, I think the AI is going to be getting quite a bit of reinforcements. Let's see. If I attack right here, there's very few towers that can do much about it. Uh, my hoplites are the ones carrying the ladders, I think. I'll keep it that way since they're somewhat missile Hoplites, resistant. Ready. And I'll just get my uh, my Libyan infantry. You know what? Actually, let's switch this. Hoplites. So let's take these guys to burn the gate. Elephants and I'll leave my general to support them. I've got three noble cav as well. Just kind of hang on to those guys. I use my skirmishers to support uh, the uh, effort with the ladders here. Okay, let's start the battle. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Got some Celtic skirmishers up there. Our general is under attack. Oh, they've got a bastion. Ballista. I'm gonna pull my general away from it and we're gonna go try and burn the gates over here. Huh, <laughs> these ladders. Looks like they roll kinda slow. Looks like these guys are shoving it and then letting it roll or something like someone playing with a shopping cart. Alright. I'm gonna bring these javelin men up. There's really not all that many galls up here. I call them Gauls because I'm used to Rome 1, I guess, our Bernie. I'm going to try and take out that Bastion Ballista. Just click a few attack orders here. It's going to be kind of a waste of javelins because there's not a whole lot of targets up here to hit. Because their units are so small, but it'll be helpful nonetheless. Okay, those guys are gone. Those guys are wrecked. Men! Has blessed us. At speed! I think we've pretty much ruined that. Yeah, Bastion Ballista. Alright, I'm gonna burn the gates. <clears throat> I don't think they have burning oil. I think I can burn these towers from down here too. I'll give it a shot. Elephants back up this way. So we can take out some of these skirmishers here. Yeah, got a nice bunch of volleys there. All right, I'm gonna save the ammo on these guys. I might need it later. Mahaplates are slowly working on burning the gates. Can you guys not burn the tower from out here? Maybe they can't burn the tower from out here. I'm taking quite a few losses to my Hoplites, even though they're fairly missile resistant. I forget how strong these towers are. I don't guess I can... Yeah, I can't burn the towers from down here. But their gate is um, getting pretty fire damaged. See if I can use all those troops, then I'm about to take the walls over here. Slowly but surely, the ladder is pulling themselves up. Alright, we're about to bust through the gate. We have a few Celtic tribesmen wait behind there, nothing substantial. And I don't think the gatehouse has oil, which 
which will be helpful. We don't want that. And I'm just going to start capturing the uh, different points of the city and get my cab and elephants inside too, and that should really pose a, an issue for the uh, Arverni. <clears throat> Alright, the front gates are on fire. And my men are moving up the ladders. Libyan infantry! Melee infantry! At speed! Out of orders! Over here and capture this tower. The enemy's gates have been destroyed! Completes ready! So we move up here. Four elephants! I'm gonna keep my elephants back for just a second because there's still some. Bring my cab up here. Infantry ready. Some weird lag again. This Amisos. this happened when I was trying to film earlier. I'm not sure what it's about, but I've never noticed any of this until recently. It's pretty annoying. Every now and then, just get some strange lag. Seems to go away relatively quick. Okay, Mahapotes. Hapotes are busting through. I'd kind of like to get them to where we can start capturing this gatehouse. There we go. Gatehouse is starting to be captured. I'm just going to pull up my noble cab there. Okay. Let's take out that bastion ballista. Loyal sons of Let's up here. Some Celtic warriors. And we've should be about to capture that tower. We have captured a tower. Okay. I have all my men into the city at this point. Riders at the double. This Celtic Bastion Scorpion. Kind of an interesting elephants! unit. I've never seen that. Forward! Let's bring my elephants man! inside. Javelin men. That's Just get all my troops order. in here. And let's chase down these Celtic troops here. Loyal sons of Carthage! And we'll take this first capture point here, which I guess is the giant oak tree. It's one of the pillars of the city. Whoever owns it controls the city. Just kind of poking fun there. I can't help myself. I'm going to charge this uh, noble cab over into the back of these scorpions. It'd be kind of funny if some of my cab accidentally went up and over the walls. But I'm assuming those guys is dead. We have captured the gates. Okay, so the gates are mine. Ha! Ah, looks! Some of my cab did go over the walls. <laughs> Never seen that before. That's pretty entertaining. Though I'm glad they didn't die. Alright. Let's actually let my Hapotes finish the capture of this. And let's push up with my Libyan infantry, which is uh, strong enough to kind of go work on its own. My Hapotes could probably do alright if I didn't come up against any real powerful... Barbarian units. Go ahead and do a little scouting with my noble cav. My elephants up. All right. Our enemy have lost a victory point. I guess that means I can go ahead and pull up my hop days. All right. So all my units have orders. We're moving on into the city. See one Bastion unit over there. Let's just go do some scouting up here real quick with the Snowball Cav. Actually, let's go around this way. Fewer arrow towers to deal with. And I got these these Libyans here. Marching up the path. Got the little miniature stone hinge up here. I'm 
I'm gonna send uh, one unit up to kind of scout this town center real quick. Alright, just got my guy splitting up. We'll go hit all of these different areas. I'm assuming there's gotta be some. Gotta be some Arverni units somewhere around here, but I don't see any at all actually protecting this area. There's a Levy Freeman. A few other units that look like they're maybe heading this way. I'll see if I can go ahead and take that capture point off their hands. I've got infantry coming up. Oh, I'm under fire over here. Let's move. And I can't see any units up here either. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure where are the AI is at. Oh, they've got units coming after me. What kind of units are these, Levy Freeman? You know what? Just charge these goons. See if we can get a quick trample charge and kill them. There's quite a few Levy Freeman in that unit, but we uh, got a good charge. Oh, there's more coming. So, yeah, I'm just going to pull out of there. Should be able to bring this unit in from behind now. I'm taking a few losses trying to disengage there, but that's only fair. I'm trying to run away from the infantry that very well had me engaged. Let's get back in there around to the side of these guys. Okay, I've got another unit of Noble Cav coming around the back side here. I don't think these Levy Freeman have braced. Yeah, they really weren't ready for that kind of charge. So, managed to get behind those guys. I'm gonna use the whip on these Libyan infantry here. See if we can more quickly put these guys out. And my Noble Cav's gonna get right back into the back of these Arverni. That should be enough to tip the scales of morale into my favor, I think. Some more Levy Freeman coming up behind my Noble Cav, though. Hopefully these guys are out quick so I can pull on through. I can get that cab out of there. I own that victory point, and in another few seconds, I'm gonna own the map. Losing a lot of men trying to get some of these cab units out of here. But it's not that bad. Alright, they got some more Levy Freeman. I'm guessing these were their guys that came off the boats because they're in only 80 man units. So that's my best guess. Libyan infantry finish these guys off. All right, so managed to take the city from the Arverni. Not much resistance, which was kind of expected since most of their troops were levy freemen and not even full units of levy freemen. So I didn't really expect anything big there, but at least they had enough numbers to actually have to cause me to fight the battle, which they don't seem to have accomplished much and up to this point. They've just kind of been marched right on over. Arverni not putting up much of a resistance. We fight for you, my lord. Well, that's another port city. That's good. We need port cities in order to uh, accomplish our campaign objectives. Man, they got a whole bunch of high-level buildings here, so it's no wonder they were probably getting all kinds of issues. There is a Celtic agent right around here. Can't get her on this turn with that agent, but it makes me wonder. I can't recruit any spies. Yeah, I can't recruit anything. Yeah, I've got as many agents as I can have, apparently. Could have up to three more armies, though, which I don't guess would hurt anything. I already have a bunch that I'm not even really doing that much with, though. So. 
much more territory. The Arverni have Lamonum and Nemosos. Not sure how much further they go up here. Looks like they own the Bract as well. So they had a lot of territory and they were just completely mismanaging it. And Massalia. So Massalia is the main capital there. I own this capital. I should be able to get a hold of the whole province. That'll be nice. I wonder if I have any agents down here. Yep. Thought I did. Let's bring these agents up here to counter any um, Arverni agents that get after me. That'll help. Alright, back down here into Egypt. We finally cleared out Alexandria of Seleucid agents, which means I should be able to move my army along, finally. Um, so what I'll do is join up with this fleet, and we'll take this fleet, sail over, see if we can make it to Jerusalem before the Nasamones. If we don't, it shouldn't be a big deal. Some of y'all wanted me to get in a fight against these uh, these guys down here, but I don't need to do that. They're my military allies now, and so it actually counts this as one of my provinces uh, due to the military alliance. So, should be fine there. Got the public order fixed in these places finally. Notice those buildings that I shouldn't have had there. And again, this army in Medlon is really not accomplishing much. Pavadium must have gotten sabotaged, or I, mean, I think there was a flood or something there actually, come to think of it. Okay, looks like we have an upgrade for these guys. Let's give them the uh, ability to have the night battles. Let's start taking a look at some of my armies. So the Sacred Company here. There's some entrenched Seleucids we can't quite make it to. We fight for you. And we're on the way to take back Sea Day after my naval blunders. The lands of Tanit, so that's one of my home defense armies. Judges will. Can't move from Tolos right now. The Brethren of Baal, also a home defense army. Heirs to Phoenicia. Okay, so they are back in Ankara. We do have a whole bunch of agents and a whole bunch of money, so let's see if we can get rid of these Armenians. The wolf is at the door. Okay, you got one of them. Success. I live for war. At your service. Assassination. Ooh, she's not very good at assassinating. Or either, for that matter. Well, we'll try what we can. At least we hindered an agent. Let's see if we can... Okay. And I forgot I had the Bane of Rome moving towards Sinope. So we can keep pushing forward there. Good, we have a lot of armies uh, sailing around. This is the, the fleet that I'm trying to recuperate after the loss to the Seleucids. Okay, let's go ahead and end this turn and see what happens. We find ourselves matched against a worthy foe. Um, Your I'm not going to be joining be a, a war comfort. against one of my Can you fellow states, so how about you declare peace and get over it? Morons. That is something I wish I'd, uh, they'd still put into here, is they still need to fix the diplomatic system with um, client states, and I think there should be a little more work on the satrapies as well, even though I think they work a little better, but they've got to do something about those client states like so... Anytime one of your client states, well, of course, they always join you in a war against whoever you're fighting, but then if you subjugate them, they never cease the war, and so your client states will be wasting time on each other when they should all be united. It's really, really frustrating. Got that enemy fleet sailing up behind me. wonder what it is and whether or not I can defend against it. Persia was taking their time doing something. I'm fighting them in the Bactria campaign as well, so it's like double duty here. Agent exposed, subversion at Tolosa. Kara and Kara. So we got some Arverni agents outside Tolosa. Looks like we can get to him on this turn with these spies, so let's see what we can do. Man, terrible chance of a sap either. Whatever, I'll just do what I can. These spies must be new. 
We got a hinder, so that's good. Try and do some assassinating. Good. Got one of them and hindered the other. And both my agents ranked up, so I'm gonna... Again, try and unlock stuff under the zeal tree so that I can do better at coercing and uh, assassinating. So that's where I'll focus my agents. Has many faces. One, two, intercept, tempt, and poison. And let's go with Larson, Poison Wells. Here we go, coerce and conceal blade. Good. There is an Arverni army that's kind of behind me right there, but not a huge worry. We can go ahead and build up a... I'm going to build up a military wharf here so I can have a navy over here. A temple will be good. A couple of agoras. And I'll build a muster field just in case. I don't think I'll need it. But it may come in handy. All right. Feeling like we're doing pretty well over there. Oh, check it out. Rome can grow. So we'll expand it. Oh, we've already got a building like that. Don't think I need that. Don't think I need any of these, to be honest. I'll just go ahead and put it in anyway. Alright. Be fun to kind of build aqueduct type stuff. Visos. I took both of these armies over. Yeah, over here. So it looks like we can march on Sinope. And there's an enemy fleet there. Don't see an army. But a fleet of a trillion javelin men, basically. Get some skirmishers. Yeah, this should be an easy win. All those javelin men... I've got Numidian Cav and Citizen Cav to run them down with, and plenty of strong infantry. So, if I do a night attack, does it cut any of these people out? Yeah, it cuts out that one ship. Not a big deal, but I'll take it. Let's assault the city. Battle of Sinope. Start taking the war back to Armenia. If I can get control of uh, all these cities, it's really helpful because part of my victory conditions is controlling a pretty large number of uh, port cities. I also need to incorporate more veterans into my or uh, mercenaries into my army. That's another condition of victory. Yeah, we've got a pretty straight looking run right into the city center, and I'm. Honestly, not going to sit around wasting a lot of time with my artillery. I don't even think I need them here. I'm going to leave one pike unit out here to guard them, because it's not a very offensive unit anyway. And let's see. They're either going to land their ships over here or over here. So let's split up. I'll stick one Numidian and one Citizen Cav on either side of the city so that if their ships start landing those skirmishers in anywhere I should be able to run them down. I'll take these guys off fire at will and skirmish so that I can use them more aggressively. And let's take our hoplites in from this angle. Uh, shouldn't need this unit either. Like men at your command. We are at your command. Libyan infantry. And let's take these guys in from a couple of different angles, too. Okay. Let's get moving. Okay, there are some ships moving towards me. They're going to disembark over there. And some that will disembark over here. They are all skirmishers, which means that my cav ought to be able to deal with them. They are javelin men, though, so I'm going to have to be careful. Because if they get enough javelins off while you're charging, they can sometimes kill lighter cavalry units. Let's just get these guys ready to charge them once they get to the beach. Got my own javelin men here that pull up and get ready to fight. 
just gonna go for it right here. Yeah, they've gotta come clear over here to land their ships. Pretty sure we'll be able to easily take these guys out. Javelins are in range. I'm gonna drop them into quick reload real quick and do as much damage as I can to these noble spearmen. There we go. Giving those guys a solid thrashing. I could go ahead and charge these guys, but I don't, I'm gonna wait just because I need them to get completely on the land before I charge. Let's take these guys out. Alright, good. My skirmishers are doing quite a bit of damage. Okay, these guys are all off the boat now, so now we can charge. Get rid of some of these skirmishers. See, this boat's still sitting out here. The artillery sh Oh, it's got my guys under fire, too. Crap. Not to pull away, it's gonna sit there and keep firing. Didn't realize that. That was stupid. Citizen cavalry! I'm just gonna try and get a hold of all those skirmishers. My peltists are working these guys over pretty well. And then I've actually busted into the city over here. Alright, I think I've gotten away from that Scorpion ship. Unfortunately, me sitting there allowed them to beach more of their vessels. Though I did destroy all other ships there. I'm gonna pull these guys back. Get my Libyan infantry ready to come in. I'm gonna bring my elephants in here to support as well. My hapotes have broken through here. Let's get them ready to assault the city center. AI is falling back actually at the moment. Try and get rid of some of these units. I'm gonna use the war cry on my general. Okay, this ship's beached now, so we're gonna come kill these guys. Let's see if we can get in behind these troops. These eastern spearmen are holding out longer than I figured they would. Let's get rid of these hillmen. Oh, I see a lot of skirmishers on the town center. Let's hang back for a second until I have some support. I've got some cav coming in here behind the, the town center, so if there's a whole bunch of skirmishers holed up back there, we can destroy them. Let's get my general into here as well. Finish off these spearmen and hillmen. Don't see any spearmen up here yet, so I'm gonna take advantage of that situation. Oh wow. Here's the uh, skirmishers over here. Citizen cavalry! Our general is under attack! My Nimidian cav's got a whole lot of guys throwing javelins at it, so it might bite the dust. Let's chase down these javelin men over here so they can have to quit throwing stuff at me. The men are wavering. This blob of eastern javelin men is actually pretty dangerous because their attack is so high. And um, while you're stuck on one of them, even just in the few seconds it takes to kill them with a cav unit, they can unload hundreds of javelins into your unit. And like, say, right over here, for instance, where my units get caught up on this one, the one behind has the opportunity to try and throw javelins. Fortunately for me, the AI's got that screwed up at the moment. Yeah, but look, the citizen cav gets just destroyed by all those javelins. I'll try my general. This is a little risky. I don't think they're quite ready to uh, take my general on. Oh, they're using flaming bullets, so that's bad. I need to route these guys quick. Yeah, I forgot the AI has been programmed to use its flaming ammo better. One of our units has gone berserk. Ah, really? 
They only hit him with a couple of javelins. Couldn't even hardly see any. Plus, they're all routing. Oh well. At least the AI is trying to do better. Oh, my general's gonna berserk. Oh, never mind. Good. Battle ended right before he berserked into my own men, so perfect timing. That is always a risk to take your elephants into flaming shot. That was something that I honestly kind of took into my own hands. But uh, we've taken Sinope and dealt the Armenians a blow, gotten rid of their hordes of skirmishers. AI seems to be fixated on recruiting skirmishers. Again, I'm really interested to start a, pat or a game outside of, or in patch 9, so that I can see if they do any better. But that's all I have for now, and I will be back soon with more Carthage campaign. <laughs>